Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts, and today I want to talk about how to turn an old book into a kind of a vision board. Now, traditionally, a vision board is just that, a bulletin board or a cork board where you pin images that are meaningful to you. Sometimes it's something that you'd like to manifest in your life, such as a certain house or a certain job. It's a great way to keep your dreams right in front of you all the time and stay focused on them. The only problem is, is that it's pretty big and uh, is fixed in one spot. I had an idea to make something that was similar and portable that I could put in my bag and then have with me anytime I want. So today I'm going to show how you can do the same, how you can take an old book and make it into a place to store and collect ideas that make you want to create and make and that speak to your creative curiosity that will become prompts, imaginative prompts for you to work on in your own work. It's very simple, very basic. So today it's not so much that I'm teaching a technique as I'm just sharing an idea, but it is a very good idea. So please join me. If you like journal arts, altered books, vintage books, paper and ephemera, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure and turn on the notifications and you will have more of them in your life. Now let's go make stuff. Here's some pages from a cheap secondhand book on gardening. And they're things that I would like to learn to paint. Also, birds. And these are just from some cheap bird watching magazines that I got for 20p each at the secondhand shop. If you are like me, you probably have a ton of stuff saved on Pinterest or even saved searches, um, not searches, saved posts on Instagrams of things that you want to try or that inspire you. I also have on my laptop, I have a bookmarked folder just called art and it has over well over a hundred articles from the internet that I have stored there to look at and learn from someday. Well, someday just got here because about two weeks ago, I started a social media detox and it left me with an astounding amount of time and spirit on my hands. I really recommend it. What I decided to do with that is to treat myself every day to finding, to opening up some of those tabs, to looking at some of those posts, save posts, and right clicking and copying three, four, maybe five onto a, onto a file. Then I printed them up. Side note, if you don't have a printer, you could still make files like this and uh, put them on a thumb drive and take it to some place that makes copies or ask a friend who has a copier for a favor. If you don't like to ask for a favor, maybe you could trade some artwork or a little bit of job or something. I can tell you I've got a printer. I do not mind when people ask. The problem or the challenge was that I started to have a lot of pages really fast and I put them in a folder. This is probably about a fourth of my current folder. And while it's pretty and fun to look at, it's not very practical. I, I spill tea on them and I find it hard to find what I'm looking for. So I decided to take these apart. I didn't cut them. I just used a straight edge tore stuff out like this. And before I knew it, I had an impressive stack of really inspiring, fun, beautiful things that I want to try. And that's when I realized 
they would go great in a book. And now, just glue the images into the book. That is it. That is as hard as it gets. This is a good thing to do if you've got something, if you're on the phone or uh, maybe watching something, you can be gluing in pages. It's kind of meditative. I have tried when it's convenient to group things together. Uh, Here's some a bunch of book arts ideas in one section. Then I might have uh, painting ideas in another section. Illustrated journal ideas are in another section. But I'm not really fastidious about it because as the stack grows and you glue in things, they're just going to have to go where they go. But that's okay because then you still have this wonderful thing to flip through. And all of this beauty and inspiration is a tonic. This is, this is actually something that I'd like to manifest. I'll get working on that. I'm not going to gussy up my pages otherwise, uh, the way I would with an art journal. It's tempting, but that's not what this is for. This is for ideas so that I can start making. I did, however, do my cover, uh, partly for joy and Partly because some of the ideas that I just put in this book are painting on book covers. So I had to. I didn't have a choice. I used gesso, but acrylic would also work well. Okay, I said gesso, and I meant to say gouache. Not gesso. Now that it's dry, I can go in with a soft chalk pastel and add some smudgy details there for, for depth and for fun. And here it is, my vision board book. It's a great tool. Now, anytime that I'm out of ideas, Okay, that's unlikely, but any time that I'm tired and maybe don't know where to begin, I can pick this up and go through it, and I have inspiration on tap. So many ideas, no excuses. If you have any questions or any feedback, please let me know in the comments below this video. Also, below this video, there is some text. Please check that out, and you can find out what's going on here at Book and Paper Arts. Until next time, get up and go make something.